Hey everyone, Austin here again with another video, uh, doing something completely different than usual. Uh, I have my friend Edon uh, right next to me. Hello. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately you guys can't really see us, but uh, we have the Nintendo Switch. Yep. And I know there's been dozens and dozens of unboxings of these already on YouTube, but uh, Edon actually emailed me earlier today, offered to come on over with the Switch. Uh, he got it at midnight and um, offered to unbox it. Um, I'm like, sweet, let's do it. So we're gonna box the Nintendo Switch it was just available to the general public as of about an hour ago. Yep. It's about 1 a.m. right now, <laughs> East Coast Standard yep. Time. And uh, Edon also got Bomberman with it. Uh, so maybe we'll fire it up once we're done, we're done with this unboxing um, off video and uh, give this sucker a try. So do you want to have the honors, Edon? Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. Here we go. So you got the one with the, the neon controllers. Yeah, I got. Is I there got, any particular reason why like you preferred yeah. that over so, the other one? Yeah. So basically, my thought was uh, my thought was that the neon controllers would be more limited. Um, I yeah. mean, yeah, I figured the grays would be much more common, and I just wanted something that was okay. a little different. I mean, I. It's interesting you say that because like all the ones I've seen online, like I, it looks like everybody's going for the neon ones instead of the regular ones. Yeah, I mean, yeah, talking to people in line, most mm -hmm. of them told me they're getting the gray ones. Really? Okay. Yeah. So okay. we might. Yeah, I mean, well, of course, I only. I mean, I think there were about between a hundred to two hundred people at Best Buy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and basically, I only talked to just a few of them, and. Uh, yeah, they said uh, they said they were getting the gray one just okay. because they like the regular colors. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. So, all right. So it looks like it's basically just kind of like a little first... basically flap there, and then this comes undone like that. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh we got some instructions. Let's... can fold out too. Ooh, looks oh, looks like we should probably. Okay, we should do open it, it like this, this way. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense now. All right. Whoa! Ooh, Whoa! Wow, the switch. It it's definitely smaller than I thought it would be, but then again. As some more pictures came out, um, I figured that, like, okay, it is going to be smaller than so I thought. one of the Joy-Cons. So that's the blue one. And let's see. I am opening up the red one. Like, here we go. This is for the right side of the console. Yeah, it's got the, the, the A, B, X, Y. All these right. things are really light. So, yep, these expected. are light. And you know what? I was very skeptical about whether or not you'd want to play a game while holding it like this, like just without them in the console. Yeah. And it actually feels all right. Uh, this actually feels all right too when you're yeah. playing it like this, like you see them demonstrating oh. it. Um, yeah, and I wasn't sure if this position would work um, just because the analog sticks are different, are placed differently. But I mean, I was more skeptical about this side than the, the uh, blue side, but Oh, this, and these actually operate as buttons, too, yeah, from what it looks like. There's, yeah, like, tiny these are little, buttons. Yeah, the colored buttons up here. Yeah, these are actual buttons that you push. Very interesting. Okay. So, yeah, it's, uh... Man, why didn't I pre-order one? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Look, this launch has been really smooth, and, you know, I think there were at least 100 people who did not pre-order it, and they got in line and they got a ticket to, to buy one and on the spot. And they actually got one. That's awesome. Yeah, so, That's awesome. So, I don't, so this is not going to be the NES Classic. I mean, all, this indicates Which that, you still can't get. Yeah, which you, you know, still can't get. after it came out. Yeah. So, basically, it's. Uh, I think if you want one and you missed out on the pre-order, I, I think you won't have to wait long to, to get it. Um, like I, I think uh, Nintendo, they've, uh, they really, they were really well prepared. I mean, the launch was very smooth. I I mean, I, I pre-ordered, and I, I no issues came up. Uh, so yeah, all right, here it is, here the you go. console. Wow. So this is so just this by itself. It's a uh, it's just a rectangle. It's uh, it looks like a tablet, like or it basically it, is a tablet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, it's it's uh, it's larger than most smartphones. It's smaller than most tablets, but it's also thicker too. Um, so let's see. Wow. <laughs> okay, so holding it, it's it's pretty light. Um, so let's see. I'll lo let's look at the top of it. All right. Okay, so I mean there there is some there are some vent. There's a vent here for the fans. Looks like the headphone jack is up here. Uh, okay, the game cartridge slot goes in here. 
And that's the top, right? Yeah, this yeah. is the top. Okay. Okay, we have a volume rocker switch up here. Okay. And it looks like the power button is up here, too. Okay. Right near the volume. Uh, so now, okay, the... And that's where the uh, Joy-Cons go, on the sides. Yeah, so the sides is where the Joy-Cons would go. It, well, it, it's you got... You want to attach the Joy-Cons? Yep, so it looks like it's got a metal rail in it, so it's not like cheap plasticky yeah. stuff. It, it's got solid metal rail, so let's see how this goes. Okay. Nice, and, nice and smooth. Okay. Yeah, and a pretty go. good audible click. Very okay. nice. So and there's now, the whole thing. So holding it in my hands, it's... Yep, yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Yeah, by all means, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like a super-sized um, PlayStation Vita. Like, it's... Uh, it actually it very much reminds me of... Would you want to grab that over there? Yeah, of course. Wow, so here is the Wii U gamepad. And... Um, put it side by side, see Yeah, the so like heads against each other. Yeah. Yeah, so basically the, uh, the Nintendo Switch is pretty much... Well, it's a, it's small. It's uh, smaller than the Wii U gamepad, and it lost a lot of weight. It is. I don't thin. know if it's as comfortable as the Wii U gamepad. Like, feel that. Okay. And then go to this. So yeah, this feels like it's more cramped. Well, you let's... know, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. So now I I'll think feel this one. But I mean, that's that's the thing is, if you're gonna use it at home, though, you're gonna be able to take the Joy Cons off and use them like a normal yeah. controller. Yeah. So. so basically, what we have here is the. Uh, yeah, basically what we have, yeah, the Wii U, it's thicker, which that probably adds to the ergonomics yeah. of it, while here it's um it's much thinner. Like maybe we can Oh yeah, it's very much thinner, yeah. Yeah, it's so just super just thin to... compared to the Wii U. Yeah. And... and this doesn't even have like the updated battery pack. It's right. It's you know, it comes out right there. This is thicker than that is. Yeah, uh... so so basically, yeah, the switch, it's um yeah, so basically I mean, we'll see if if we develop hand cramps. Uh, I'll I'll figure that out. <laughs> but the um, thing is, this is going to be in portable mode when you're playing yeah. like this, and I always forget about that. So ideally, you're not going to be playing like this when it's on your TV. So speaking of which, oh wait, there's more. There's more. All right, here. Let's put this. <laughs> let's put this over here. Oh, let me see if I can figure out how to remove the Joy Cons. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Okay. Here, we're gonna bring it over here. I mean, oh, okay. There's a button. There's a button on the back here. Is that how you remove it? Okay. I, maybe. We'll find out. So yeah, it's right under the trigger. Okay, that definitely feels. Oh, yep. Okay, that's it how is. you do it. Okay. Yep. So you just push in the button and then you just pull the Joy Cons. All right. So again, there's. Yeah. So. Yep. There's that black a button. Little tiny black button. You just push it in. Okay. Yeah, nice, so it's very nice. It's secure. It's it's not going anywhere. Um, all right, we'll just put that in back here for now. All right. Okay. Wow. We got. So we got some basic got, cables and so forth. Right, so it looks like we've got an it, it, HDMI connection. Yeah. Very typical stuff there, and that's the power cord. Okay. Oh, awesome. All right. Power bricks. Yeah. Or not a power brick. A wall ward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and it's the kind that'll block um, three outlets on a power strip. Um, yeah. Maybe one and a half. Okay. <laughs> so here's the, the power brick. Go ahead and oh, and, here. and it, is that a USB-C connector? Uh, actually, it is, from what it looks like. Yeah, here, let's let's take it out and... Yeah, so this end is a USB-C connector. It's, um, yeah, it's reversible and... Okay, so it's just straight from the AC power straight to USB-C. Mm -hmm. All right, and let me just look at the power. Okay, the output is five volts at one and a half amps and 15 volts at 2.6 amps. So we're looking at like 40, eh, 40, 50 watts, maybe. <laughs> and you probably um, can't see, but it actually has a Nintendo logo. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't maybe. See it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it's definitely there, but we'll see if you can well, see it. Well, that's good for the future when people are looking for replacements. They know that it's oh. official. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Looks like we have a wrist strap for. Oh wait, it looks like 
Um, this is the piece that you put on the Joy-Con so that you can um, play, uh, you can be more comfortable while using... Oh, is this the right side? Oh, it looks like you can do oh, either whoop. side. Hold on, uh, that's the wrong side. The, there's a plus sign here yeah, and yeah. a negative sign here, so let me take that out. Okay, so I made this mistake for you, so you don't have to <laughs> when you get yours. Okay, give me one. <laughs> oh boy, did I screw this up. Alright, you don't gotta go back to Best Buy. <laughs> what the hell did I just do? Here, let me see it, Edon. Let okay. me, let me oh, wait, it. wait, there's a lock here. There is a lock? Okay. Okay, I unlocked it. Oh. Okay, I really shouldn't have to use a lot of force. Here, let me see it. Yeah, okay, so did I put it on... Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, pay attention to the plus and minus. Okay, let me see. Is, can this pull... Okay, oh, okay, I had a click there. Oh, all right. Sorry, right, I got it. Yep, that's just a piece of plastic. All right, so... Okay, so do not... All right, lesson one. Do not... <laughs> oh, actually, did we just put this on? Oh. There you go. That's the right side. Okay. Okay, yep, so... that's good. Oh, I put it on upside down. That's what happened. Like, I put yep. it in like mm -hmm. this, yep. rather... Okay, so yeah, pay, so lesson learned here. Um, it needs to go together like this. Um, like there's a minus sign here, and there is a minus sign here. Um, and so basically, it needs to slide on like this. Yeah, that's a lot better. And okay. then those act like shoulder keys, basically. Yeah. It, so. uh, Okay, it's uh, it feels comfortable. I mean, it's I mean, yeah, somewhat cramped, but not. But it's I mean, I don't mean cramped as in you can't play it. It's you can definitely play a Mario Kart or. My only concern uh, is that I'm hitting these buttons on the side. Yeah, I think I'm, my, unless they're like disabled when you. I think they're going to disable it because yeah, they probably. I would hope so yeah, I, I keep I'm pretty, touching them. I'm yeah. pretty sure that in this mode they would disable it. So well, yeah. Interesting. Well, okay, well, let's take this off. So, okay, again, the so same way, just hold that down. Now, okay. It's a little little hard to get it off, but yeah, I kinda, it's okay. I kind of wonder if, what is this lock thing for? Oh, this... It might be for the, it the might strap. Be, it yeah. might just be for the strap, okay. So what else do we have here, Edon? All right, so we'll put this down. All right. Okay, what do we... Ha oh! Is that the dock? No, no it's, it's oh very nice. It's not very the nice. dock, but it's very important. This is the what do they call it? The Joy-Con. Uh, what do they call this thing? The... I'm just gonna call it the Switch controller for now. Okay. So oh all right. So basically, this is where you would dock the uh, the the Joy Cons. So all right, this I cannot screw up because it's pretty clear which side goes where. Okay, very solid click. Okay, so now, how does it feel? Okay, so yeah, the the, the uh, triggers feel all. I mean, the placement of the triggers feel a little bit odd, but it, it's not uncomfortable. Um, yeah, it's not. I mean, the thumbsticks they're they're placed very well. Um, yeah, so it, it's definitely not uncomfortable, but I might consider getting the pro controller. Uh, depending on how. Oh yeah, I can. I feel like I have to reach down a lot farther for the right. Actually, I can yeah. see myself getting used to this. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so it's not. It, I don't think I'm gonna get any wrist cramps from it. Um, it's just uh, just a little getting used to. But these I, top shoulder keys, though, that's not that's not ideal. But the back shoulder keys feel fine. Like as far as my hands, anyway. You know, smaller hands. You yep. find it to be and more comfortable. I guess my only other concern is like when dragging your thumb from the right thumbstick to the buttons. It, I mean, the, the disc, it feels farther than it does on an Xbox controller. It does actually. That that was but the first thing I noticed. Now but that's probably because if they put the stick up any higher, if you press the B button, you might end up. Yeah. The stick. So I'm. Yeah. So I'm sure they had to do it. Um, it's very light too. So it's, yeah. 
I don't know, it's pretty cool. For a built-in controller, I think it'll be fine. Oh, now what about the D-pad buttons? I mean, they're, they're not, um, I mean... It's just like the buttons up here, it's the exact yeah. same thing. Um, yeah, so it's not an actual D-pad where, no. where you press on one side and you can feel the other side, like, tilt. Yeah, it's um, not an actual these are These are independent buttons, which I they had to do it that way, because for a multiplayer game, you, you have to have the ability to press the buttons independently, yeah. so... So, All what's, right. what's underneath that manual there? Oh, okay. there's the, another one of those. Okay, yep, that's this the is, second player. This is for, yeah, this is just okay. another uh, plastic thing for the shoulder buttons. Yep. Um, just like that other one that I put on backwards. Yep. Um, okay. This, oh, that's going to be the dock, obviously. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's just the manual. Okay, this. All right, this is a manual. The first thing it says on it is system update. Okay. Looks like we got a day one update waiting for us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, well, we'll see how long it takes. Um, all right, this is the biggest thing. It probably weighs as much as the console itself. Unveiling. Dun da da da! The dock. Okay, so there are a few things that I notice about it. Oh, it's got some feet on the bottom, so let's see. Yep. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, it. I guess it could tilt forward and back, but, I mean, now sliding, it's, it's got pretty grippy feet, so the only thing to think about is maybe the tilting front to back. Um, now, on the inside, it looks like there is a, well, you're not going to see it here, but it looks like there is a USB uh, Type-C uh, connector, or... Yeah, yeah, I, I'd yep. call that a Type C connector, and yeah. and there's there's some physical studs that stick out to keep, I guess, to kind of force the console into the center. You want to go ahead and plug it in? And yeah, so let's just see how it plugs and obviously in. it goes forward. So, I assume. Yeah. Okay, so it just dropped into place. Yep. I don't know. That's if, it. Yeah. Oh, it's turning on. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> There's a little bit of juice, apparently. Uh... Oh, okay, so it's just telling us to slide in the Joy-Cons, but we're going to do that later, yeah, so we're not going to worry about any of that let right me just now. power that off for now, if it'll let me. If it'll let me. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I mean... Oh, okay, just going to put this aside. Um, so it oh, also looks like your yeah. uh, your dock actually opens up, and oh, that yeah. reveals your connections. So the dock is going to be like this, too. Um, oh, it's actually got a little area where your cables can come out from. So you basically hook up all your cables, and then shut this, and all your cables come out from the side. Oh, yeah, and there was one more thing I noticed. Okay, so there is like a slit here. I believe that slit is so that the uh, is so that the switch can suck air in from the bottom, and it exhausts the air out the top of the console from the yeah. So yeah, because the switch does have a fan, it does have vents on it. Let me see. Oh yeah, it looks like there are vents on the console, like kind of this lower part here. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, so this gap, this slit, it looks like it just allows air in and it exhausts the warm air out the, the top. So, we'll see. I mean, I, I, don't think, uh, I don't think the fan is gonna be loud. I mean, I, yeah. It's, uh, I'm, I'm just curious. I mean, I, I wanna get to playing this. So, I think... Uh, How's the, uh, one last thing? Um, how about that kickstand? Oh, gosh, yeah. All right, what about that kickstand? Okay, so there is a kickstand right here. Let's see how it works. I'm just gonna pull it from the bottom. Oh, okay, not much effort needed. And, okay, this surface is a little slanted, but let's just see what it does. Okay, so, yeah, it's, it's staying up. Let me turn it around towards the camera. Okay, so, uh, just looking at it from the side, I would say it's about maybe 85 degrees. Uh, like it's so it's not nine, it's not perpendicular to the surface. I would say I mean, 85 degrees. Um, 
Yeah, maybe. So just so it's it's almost standing straight up, but not 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 too far off. So I can imagine using this if you're on a flight. In fact, one of the guys I talked to said that he's he actually is boarding a plane tomorrow, and he said he's gonna be using this feature too. I can uh, see what they were talking about. I heard some people oh. say it was flimsy, so you have to be careful with it. Yeah. So basically, I guess the only thing I don't like is that like yeah, when I pry it open, it. I mean, yeah, I would like to have, like, a solid click when I bring it out to- Oh, there is Oh, a... it does click. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe I broke this, too. No. Okay. Okay, yeah, but- So, yeah, it does have a click, but it didn't feel all that satisfying. Like, it, it, it gave me the impression that I might have broke something, even though I probably didn't. Yeah. It's probably fine. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's only mine, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's the Nintendo Switch unboxing and a couple of our just basic first impressions and whatnot. Uh, so far, it feels pretty cool to me. I'm looking yeah. forward to trying it out. I, I can't and, wait uh, to start Unfortunately, playing it's it. not my Switch, so <laughs> this is going to leave my apartment once once Edon leaves tonight. Yep. Um, but I might actually track him out and check my, <laughs> my 24-hour Walmart and see if Zelda is available on Wii U. Yeah, so. I, I think the games are going to be widely available. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I think the software shouldn't be a problem. I mean, you might be able... If you did not pre-order the Switch, you might be able to get one tonight at a... Uh, well, maybe not tonight at um, at any store, but... Don't tempt me. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so if you don't get it tonight, uh, like, I don't think you'll have to wait. I mean, it, we're not going to have a shortage like the, the, the original Wii or, uh, or the current NES Classic. I mean, the Nintendo, they made... I'm guessing that they made like three million just for the launch, and they probably have more coming. Just... Hopefully, that's the case. Yeah, because it seemed yeah. like a cool concept. Yeah, uh, I think it's this is a uh, really cool for people that especially want to do portable play. Um, yeah, this I, and I, it feels like a pretty solid little unit. I like it. It feels very firm, you know, and that's that's that was yeah, one of my big I, concerns. I, I... Yeah, I like um, how I like how it has a little bit of thickness to it. I mean, I've seen tab. I mean, modern tablets that are ultra thin, but I, I just, they're not yeah. comfortable. While this here, it's it's a chunky little yeah little tablet, and I like that. So, well, we're gonna we're gonna try it out in a little bit. Uh, Edon, let me know what your you yeah. know your your personal results are, your opinions are. You know, yeah. a week or two from now. Yeah, definitely. And especially as you get more games. And speaking of games, uh, we're gonna oh. go ahead and crack oh, open yeah. this bomber. You know what? Let, here. Yeah, let's unbox the. We might as well show game. you guys that too. Yeah, because let, and, let's uh, see. Maybe. Maybe there's uh, do something. You, do you plan on getting any other games, or is Bomberman pretty much the only one well, you're gonna go with I, right now? Well, I I have Zelda. Wow. On the way. Zelda. That is it. The cartridge. No manual, no nothing. Now, do you have a 3DS cartridge to compare it to? Um, or something just to get a sense of scale? Um, no, nah, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Um, so, it's actually relatively thick, surprisingly. Oh, wow, so, that is thick. There you go. Yeah, so it looks like... It looks like it's um, about as tall as an SD card. Narrower than an SD it card. Is, yeah. Thicker than an SD card. And I do like that these are custom cases, though. I'm a sucker for that sort of I, stuff. Oh, oh yeah. It is a little disappointing. There's no manual. Yeah, but there is artwork on the inside there of the is. cover, yeah. which I, I like that, but yeah, I kind of wish there was a But at least in the manual. packaging, there are slits for a manual if somebody really wanted yeah. to include one. So let me just take a look so. at the... Oh, it's a very lightweight cartridge. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, well, we're pretty... going to have to hook this up and stream some of it. Yeah, for pretty big are... opening on the back. Um, now, I'm not going to test it right now, but uh, I have read an article saying that Nintendo put something in the plastic to make it taste terrible uh, so that kids don't uh, try to taste it. I'm not going to do that with Bomberman or Zelda. Uh, <laughs> but if there is a cartridge I get a hold of that is, I don't know, very cheap, which probably won't see one for a while, but... Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm I'm curious as hell. Was Bomberman a sixty dollar game? I, I uh, think I read 50. it was. It was fifty. I okay. I mean, I saw yeah. some videos on oh, yeah, it. Yeah, that's it right. Pretty... I, I have the receipt. It's yeah, it was fifty plus. I saw tax. some videos on it. It actually looked pretty pretty good. Um, I yeah. wasn't. I was I, expecting I saw... it to be like two D, but it was like three D. Yeah. Um, but still classic style gameplay, and it looked pretty solid. So I'm looking forward to yeah. trying it out. Basically. So, uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's really a whole lot yep. else to talk about. We're gonna go ahead and head also, off, guys. Yep. Just one more thing. The for play modes, 
Um, there are several different play modes. Um, okay, so this play mode, they say in the TV mode, where the system's in the dock, hooked up to the TV, it can support up to one to eight players. One to eight, I mean, that's, uh, that, that's pretty amazing. And uh, in the Switch mode, or, well, I guess the portable mode, where the Switch is on the kickstand, it's one to four players. And I guess uh, when you have the Joy-Cons connected, it's a one-player game. So I'm curious to see how that works. I mean, I only have you one. You haven't played any Bomberman games before, have you? Well, no, I played Bomberman games before. Just uh... aside from Act Zero. No, no, I, I did not. I actually did not play Act Zero. <laughs> I played the bomb, the one they released later. E Edon is young. I figured Act Zero was his only introduction. No, no, to no, no. I know what Bomberman <laughs> is. I've I've played the uh, and uh, not the NES, the uh, SNES version. And okay, uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. But yeah, so good stuff. Yeah, no. So Bomberman goes up to eight players, and that's yeah, it's, it's going to be the ultimate party game, I think, for people that want yeah. a traditional type of game. That's not one to switch. Oh, and it says up to three hundred kilobytes of storage required. Okay, yeah. that's for save games. Yep. Okay. That's cool. a that's a lot better than the ninety gigabytes right. that Halo Five requires yeah. today. Well, good deal, Edon. You know, thanks for bringing the <laughs> thanks for bringing the switch over. Yeah, no I problem. Appreciate it. And thanks for allowing me to, to be here for the first unboxing. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, feel free to post them down below. And uh, thanks once again, Edon, yeah. uh, for bringing this over. So uh, I want to say thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Sunday, I'll have my normal Let's Plays up, so feel free to check that out. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video. So take it easy.